so this is where you come come down here to the graveyard and start this quest and it says use your witcher senses you know but uh I, w I went around here for a while using my witcher senses fighting all that crap down there but all you got to do is come up here and read this tomb I went around reading all the tombs and finally I decided after I'd been around here went around in circles I decided to just read the tombs, and sure enough, that was what I needed to do. Now we can start getting this is to explore the location. Okay, so how far away is it? Let me take a look. So it's uh, in a nice little underwater uh, fortress sort of thing, and this is. I've shortened the uh, live stream down to just try and hit on the highlights and like I'll probably repeat in every video about blood and wine from here on out is that I highly recommend doing all these little side missions uh, and quests before you get caught into the main quest and now there's a whole bunch of little traps and puzzles and things that you can do in here they're really pretty obvious this one was the only one that got me just a little bit confused so I just kind of uh, included it because of that and basically the little trick to this is you just go into the door that the statue is facing uh, and whatever level you're on you want to make sure you go into the door that's on that level to get to the next area I think there's only three doors and once you've gotten through all three of them you know you're down into the laboratory proper and once you're in the laboratory then again you use your with your senses to go around and do all the exploration there's these little holograms it will tell you like the story about what's going on and everything um, but then eventually you know you'll have to go ahead and go through this little passage and go underneath all this stuff and fight some centipedes uh, centipedes of course uh, insect oil you know lube your, your uh, weapon up with some oil and if you're having any trouble with centipedes at all just remember that their bellies is their they're vulnerable there they take tons of damage as long as you just hit them on the belly if you hit them on the back on their shell or everything it knocks you back and it stuns you and it makes you a target for them. And then finally you pick up the components that you need for the, uh, the mutagen experiments and go blast the wall open and you're right back down into the lab and uh, just follow it through to the end to do the mutagen experiments on yourself and get a new ability. Highly recommend doing this before you do the rest of the game or before you do your new game plus. I'm looking forward to having all this and experimenting. Uh, I'll probably even use a uh, clarifying potion so that I can uh, reset all my stats and stuff. That's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, if you made it this far, you know, leave a comment, tell me what I did good, what I did bad. Uh, if you want to see more uh, about this stuff too, uh, I'm definitely going to go and check it out see if I can figure it out. I don't know nothing about it really except that it just takes tons of skill points. So it'll be really nice to have in my, my uh, New Game Plus playthrough. Thanks for watching. Bye.